So yes, you guys read the title correctly, and yes, a couple of you guys might think that I'm slightly crazy. Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, we're going to be trying a complete experiment, something that I don't really think is going to work out, but I would be very surprised if it does because of just what it is that we're going to be trying to do here. To those of you who have seen my All Key for Applications video, which if you haven't, go ahead and check that out up in the cards right now. So All Key for Applications was a compatibility layer for Windows XP that allowed you to run some Vista applications on XP that you wouldn't be able to by default. And I got a couple of comments on that video saying when I had uh, mentioned that this is similar to Kernel X, which I have also done a video on, uh, a lot of you guys commented saying, why don't you try to use kernel X under Windows 98 and then install all key for applications and then try to use all key for applications to run Windows Vista programs on Windows 98. In theory, it sounds like it might work somewhat because you're basically putting two compatibility layers right on top of each other. but. In practicality, well, we're going to be finding out in this video if it works. I personally do not think that this is going to work just because Windows 98 and Windows XP and Vista are two completely different operating systems. XP and Vista are more alike in the fact that they're based on the same code base, which is NT, whereas Windows 98 is based on the older 9x kernel. And like I said, I really do not believe that this is going to work, but we're going to be finding out in this video because that's what we do on this channel is try these crazy experiments that you guys want to see. So let's just go ahead and get started. So I have a fresh Windows 98 second edition virtual machine here. But before we actually install kernel X, I want to see if we can run these all key and the uh, Hold'em inkball and tinker setup from uh, Windows XP. I mean, well, I was able to get these to run under Windows XP, at least this one here using all key for applications. So it actually looks like all key for applications is going to install you have got to be kidding me is this actually going to install okay so here we go there is a problem with this windows installer package a program required for this install to complete could not be run okay so yeah we weren't able to install all key uh just out of the box let's try hold them in, in uh, inkball okay so hold them inkball tinker setup is going to just come up with a legal operation so let's go ahead and install kernel x you see i have the windows sidebar over here as well let's actually try to install it i don't know i, I don't think this is going to work yeah it just literally does nothing so we'll go ahead and run kernel x here this we know is obviously going to work because i have done a full video on this so if you want to learn more about kernel x and what it does be sure to actually check out my video on it so we've logged in and we now get this uh, message here saying kernel x has been successfully installed and is now enabled for all applications the kernel x wiki by the way is an extremely useful resource when you're using this program because it tells you applications that have been uh, confirmed to work under kernel x so i don't believe all key is one of them but we're going to try it out nonetheless so well, let's go through here let's accept the agreement and let's see if it gives us that same problem that it did before we'll go ahead and click on next and install and there we go there's a problem with this windows installer package a program required for this install to complete cannot be run so it did the exact same thing now all key or uh, kernel x is usually supposed to have a uh you know separate dialogue uh menu option in here for you to uh, configure its settings but for whatever reason this application does not have that now under the hold'em inkball and tinker setup you can see that there is this uh, thing for kernel x i think it it's probably because this is an msi file and this is an exe file that could have something to do with it i think kernel x may only work with exe files so let's try to enable kernel x this is a windows or these are the windows vista games this is the installer to get the windows vista games on windows 7 or not on windows 7 but on windows 8 when all those games were removed although i guess you could also use this on windows 7 as well because um, these three games weren't bundled with windows 7. so we're going to go over to kernel x here now again this is not using all key this is just using kernel x so let's see if we can choose a specific compatibility mode and we will select windows xp service pack 2 oh there is actually a windows vista but oh that's cool i didn't even know that so we can actually 
just go just like use a Windows Vista compatibility layer. We don't even need all key. So that's actually really useful. I did not even know that. So yeah, the highest it goes is Vista and Windows Server 2008, I assume, Service Pack 1. So we're going to click OK and let's see if this works. There we go. Okay, so that is a much better sign because if you remember before, it immediately crashed and uh, said that it performed an illegal operation. So this is way better so far. Um, let's go ahead and, for some reason, Inkball is not checked. I don't know why that is. Is it because our hard drive, this is like an eight gig hard drive. Why is Inkball, why is Inkball not, not checked? I don't understand, that's very, it's very weird. It's the only one that we just cannot check. And that was the only game that worked under all key on Windows XP. Um, so let's see if we get different results. That's that's very weird. I have no idea why that is. Uh, yeah, see, we've got 7.3 gigs available, so it's not a space issue. I don't know what what that uh, is or well, what's causing that there. So we'll go ahead and install. We'll show the details here. Looks like it is working. It's actually extracting uh, the files. Okay, so it's so it's completed. Let's see if can we actually run these games. I'm gonna be like really impressed if we can actually run run these games. So okay, so it, it has put a new games folder with Hold'em, Microsoft Tinker Editor, and Microsoft Tinker. So let's try to run Hold'em. Okay, a required DLL file was not found. I actually had a couple of people saying that you might be able, you could just take a DLL file from Vista and put it into XP and it might work. So let's go in into properties here. Let's go into kernel X and we will specify the Windows Vista compatibility layer. So we'll do that. And let's go back into here, games and run hold them again. Okay, so require DLL is missing, it was not found. So that doesn't change anything. Uh, games, Microsoft Tinker require DLL was not found. So it looks like it's going to be another DLL problem. So let's try a Tinker Editor. Is it gonna do the same thing? Yes. But still it installed. I don't know why it wouldn't install Inkball. I'm gonna to try to run this again because that's very weird. Like extremely weird. Like I, I don't know why it's, it's just straight up grayed out and it doesn't explain why. Like when you mouse over it, it just gives the description of the Inkball game. So I, yeah, I have no idea why that is. But now that, since we were able to get this to work, this is all of the Windows 7 games that you, you, you could basically use this file. And I have a whole video detailing this as well. Um, but this is basically a installer that will give you all of the Windows 7 card games. So Solitaire, you know, Spider Solitaire, Chess Titans, all those games back on Windows 8 when they were removed by Microsoft for whatever reason. I still don't know why they did that. It was kind of stupid. Well, I know why that they did it because they wanted to, you know, push the modern UI and they had uh, alternatives that, in my opinion, weren't really that good. But anyway, let's just let's just try this now. So this is again the Windows 7 game, so I don't even expect it to work under Kernel X because Kernel X only has a Vista compatibility layer. But it looks like that it is, that it is working. This is basically the same installer. Error requires Windows 8, 8.1 or newer. These games do not work in Windows XP or Vista. So it thinks we're running either XP or Vista, so that is a good sign that uh, Kernel X is working there. So I don't believe that changing it, let's just try, you know, server 2008, just, just for fun. See if it yields any different results. Okay, no, that's not uh, not, not as easy as, as I thought it was gonna be. So um, we are gonna try Halo 2, because running running Halo 2 under Windows 98 is, is just gonna be hilarious. Okay, so we've got our Halo 2 uh, ISO in here, and it's giving us an error right out of the gate here. So. We've got a couple of different EXEs in here. We've got, you know, Halo2.exe uh, startup. Startup was the application that uh, actually will run um, the Halo 2 game installer. So yeah, that isn't going to work, but we do have the maps editor and a couple of other, yeah, the maps editor and the dedicated server. So let's try the maps editor because I got the maps editor to work in XP. And oh my gosh. <laughs> It looks, well, the installer, it, yeah, okay. So the installer is at least trying to run, but it says installation of this application is not supported on, on your operating system, go figure. Uh, but it still actually launches the installer just to get you to this last screen where it says 
that it can't install it so we'll finish out of that um let's try to you know just for fun again let's try to specify windows vista to see if that yields us a different result i don't think it will oh my gosh it actually does okay so it's working um Let's, let's see if we can install this. This is already better than what we had before where it just crashed. This is actually going to install. This is insane, okay. I, I seriously didn't expect any of this to work. And this is without all key, by the way. This is just using kernel X. So kernel X, I didn't even realize had the ability to run uh, some Windows Vista programs. I don't think any of this is on the wiki page. Um, but if someone wants to add to the kernel x wiki that you can get the halo 2 map editor installer to work under windows 98 go ahead because you can see it right here that it is at least installing i don't know if the map editor itself is going to work but the installer does well i spoke too soon um error 1406 could not write value default feature to key unknown features so this is this looks like it's a registry problem because it's trying to write uh, a key value but the key doesn't exist because this is under windows 98 so we'll go ahead and just abort that i don't want to cancel though okay so we can hit ignore okay so i don't know if it successfully installed it but let's try to let's see if it added anything under programs microsoft games Halo 2 map editor, Halo 2 map editor. Okay, so it asks us to have uh, .NET Framework version 2.0 contact application publisher. Let's see if we can go in here. C, program files, it would be under Microsoft games, Halo 2 map editor, and let's try to uh, use kernel X to specify Windows Vista because that actually worked for the installer. So yeah, it just gives a uh, .NET Framework error again. So. We have the uh, .NET Framework 2.0 installer here. Let's go ahead and move these. Okay, well, the machine froze for a second. Okay, here we go. Uh, okay, error starting program, error creating process. An attempt was made to load a program with an incorrect format. Okay, is not compatible with this version of Windows, blah, blah, blah. Let's try to uh, enable this. Use kernel X to go to Windows Vista same issue right out of the gate okay so that kind of sucks okay well at least we got the thing to install that is uh that's actually very exciting now there are three other um executable files in here um h2 tool let's try to run that here okay so it uh gives us another dll error usually the dll errors are, are not obviously going to be fixed uh by just changing the um, compatibility because it's actually searching for a DLL file that it doesn't have. We do have the dedicated server. So let's try to run that. We will run just the setup executable. Okay, so it says installation of this application is not supported on your operating system. This is what happened before with the other one with the uh, map editor. But when we went in here and changed it to use the uh, Windows Vista compatibility mode, it worked. So let's see if we get that same result here. And we do. So let's go ahead and um, install the Halo 2 dedicated server under Windows 98. Okay, so we have an incorrect command line parameters. Um, it's not even like an error. It's just like an like a you know dialog box. It says incorrect command line parameters, and then it just lists the like you know Windows installer like the version, the copyright information. So uh, okay. Okay, so uh, that installed with what I believe. I don't, why is there? Why is there two? Okay, that's kind of odd. Let's go ahead and view the README file. Why not? Okay, maybe we're not going to view the README file. Okay, so let's go into programs here. Microsoft Games, Halo Two, dedicated server. We only have the README file in here. Okay, um, running a dedicated server. You can run a game of Halo Two for you and your friends in two ways. Um, Halo 2 dedicated server is not supported by uh, Microsoft Support Services. Server X is the host of the game. Okay, I, I wonder if this is, is this just like an add-on to the like regular Halo 2 application and you have to run the Halo 2 application? 
let's see if there's a um, executable in program files, Microsoft games, Halo 2 uh, dedicated server. Okay, so there is. So we have H2 server, H2 admin, and a uh, security catalog here. So we're going to um, try H2 server. Require DLL was not found. Let's try H2 admin. Okay, H2 admin came up with a uh, DOS box and then it immediately went away. So let's try to uh, change that over to Vista. Yeah, so I, I can't really see what it's saying because it's, it's just um, opening and closing that uh, DOS box window, or, or not DOS box, but the uh, command line window so fast. Let's go ahead and move on to H2 server. We already tried it without um, specifying Vista. Let's try to specify Vista. I don't think this will do anything because it was a DLL error. Xlive.dll was not able to find it. That's something to do with Xbox Live, um, which Halo 2 had Xbox Live integration. Um, but all the files are still here. It, it did install all of the you know map files and the fonts and everything. So uh, it kind of worked, but you know we can't actually get the uh, executable itself to run. But we can get both the setup files for Windows, or not for Windows, but for Halo 2 dedicated server and the map editor. We can get both of them running under Windows 98 using Kernel X, so uh, that is that is pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and try one last thing before we end this video off. We're going to try out the Windows Live applications, which were, uh, you know, some of these, uh, you know, some of the versions. I don't know what version this is. I think this may be 2012, so this might not work at all because uh, 2012 was not designed for Vista. It was designed for Windows 8 or uh, you know, Windows 7 or Windows 8, one of the two. Let's try to run this here. Require DLL was not found. I don't think that's going to change by uh, enabling kernel X, unfortunately, or just specifying Vista. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. So, I mean, there you have it, guys. That was a couple of different applications, a good variety of um, applications. Most of them did not work. Um, this one didn't work, but I don't, I don't really think that we can count this one because I believe this is... Uh, Windows Essentials 2012, which wouldn't even, yeah, let's see, timestamp date, 2014. So yeah, the, there is no way that this was going to work at all. So we can't count that one. Uh, Windows 7 games for Windows 8, the installer worked, but it gave us a error saying that, hey, you need to run this under Windows 8 or Windows 10, but the installer did run. Um, Windows sidebar, I tried and it just didn't do anything when you hit on uh, install. So that one didn't work. Hold'em inkball installed, but it wouldn't let me install inkball and uh, the other two games didn't work at all. All key didn't work. Kernel X did work. This didn't work. And Halo 2, I think, was the only, again, not the actual game, but the installer for the map editor and for the dedicated server worked. So, but of course, the actual program itself did not work. So, there you have it, guys. That is how um, that Kernel X, and I thought I was going to say all key, but that is how the Kernel X um, enables you to run Windows Vista applications under Windows 98. And uh, these are some, you know, real world results. And uh, like I said, this is not an uh, ideal way to run these programs. These programs were not designed at all to run under Windows 98, but it, it is pretty cool that some uh, creative uh, developers out there have found a way to install at least some of these programs under an ancient version of Windows 9X. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on channel notifications if you haven't already to get notified whenever that I upload new videos on this channel, which I do every single week. And be sure to drop me a comment letting me know if you guys have any thoughts of this. Are these the results that you expected? Did you expect none of these applications to work? Did you expect all of these to work? Be sure to let me know down in the comments as I always enjoy reading what you guys have to say. And as always, I just want to thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.